Hey everyone, we're back with some more board game arena gameplay. Hello. We're starting off with <laughs> a game of turn-based lucky numbers. I'll just set up the chat. We'll play Ark after this after this quick game of uh, lucky numbers. Don't know about very good, it's Start okay. With one, you end with <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Were you playing with Bruno? Oh yeah, okay. The question is, should I put the seven thing there? Maybe yes. Give, oh, no, give that nine. Oh, no. Had to give it eventually. Uh, let's get rid of that 11. Yeah, as much as I do want to play Terraforming Mars again, it did take a bit long. That's that's on me for not knowing how to play very quickly yet. Oh, what the hell is this? What? So we should be able to get through a few more games this week. We'll start off with a nice easy win here. Mm, not bad. Damn, you're actually doing well. No. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna get pretty. Oh my god! You're gonna get pretty stuck there. That's so dumb. Also, I just received an email telling me if it's your turn in lucky numbers, as if I didn't know. <laughs> Just like to say to stream, I fear for my life right now. <laughs> stream tomorrow? No, definitely not. Oh, we can. <laughs> definitely no stream oh tomorrow. Oh my god! Yeah, everyone in chat, I fear for my life right now. So, what is this? That's... if you guys could keep your like fingers on the emergency services. Not very useful. Why are you so bitter? Yeah. Funny thing is, I could still totally lose from here. <laughs> All right, what we need is a 15. This for real right now? <laughs> we love this game. That is the best game ever made. Remember? So now, no matter what you think, You remember last time what happened when you tried to snipe me and you had lack of sleep apparently? Who? No, just uh, Yeti in the chat. Uh, no matter what you... What I do... You also, you should have seen our three and four player games today. They're pretty sick games. You still need very specific things. Wait, is it even possible? You need a five and that's it. Unless you... Oh. Why a five? Why a four? Nah, it would be silly for you to take the one. Shut up. <laughs> what? I just need one number. Of course it's stupid to do that. Yeah, but I mean, you only need a five. It's one in seven. Yeah, 
Well, maybe not, because you could get a Bruno. But just but just click, please. That's not a great move. Okay. Mm. It's so lucky, I literally clicked. I know it says you have two days, but thank you. I'll I'll take my win now. So dumb this game. We never it. <laughs> Just gonna show off that I had. Oh, I didn't have the win at all. All right. I can't even see it. I was gonna <laughs> replace my fifteen with a ten and Bruno. But yeah, as we said, easy victory. Actually, this game took five minutes. I don't know why you're complaining. You can have time to think. Evaluate the odds. Ah, uh, that is the problem about alpha. Game like completely crashed and just kicked everyone out. Unfortunate. Yeah, well, Terraform is in uh, beta now. <laughs> All right, we don't have EAD. Not sure how to feel about that. Ice cream. We are first player with. First association, so spokesperson seems like a pretty easy pick for a early upgrade. Keep porcupine for the early digging and herbivore. Hmm. Favorite zoo is nice. Okay, favorite zoo is extra incentive to keep spokesperson. I'm sort of feeling like marabou snowy owl. Like dragon could be useful. I don't think it's Dragon Snowy Owl though, that's the thing. I think Maribu has a lot of good release candidates and then that unlocks Snowy Owl later, which is a good value animal. Plus it's still Asia. I feel like that's it. Hey Bob. Ooh. Got nice stuff here. I think we want that science library pretty badly. Or oh, Sun Bear. I still think we snap up the science library. I'm valuing uh, science library over the sun bear right now. Sun bear is Asia, but good night. Yes. <laughs> we might get a for sale. They can have the sun bear. I'll, I'll probably regret it later. I just need to remember that they have it. I'll probably regret it later, but I think this science library is going to be pretty insane. Like, it, un it un unlocks gorilla field research as well. Looks like it's going to be a kind of longer round. Should have sniped? Why? What? What are you complaining about right now? Look, I even get the sun bear, all right? I even get the sun bear here from range. I don't need to build up here for the rep because I'm getting a fifth rep from science library. So I can just build a size three for like the marabou. And just draw sun bear from range seems pretty fine to me. And now even Gorilla Field is in range. Question is, oh, that's a bit lame. Well, they're, they're gonna give us money later. Sunbear is so good. It is good, but it's definitely overrated. They built a size two touching water. That's a kind of odd spot. They needed, they wanted the money, but they don't need it. They have gorilla field research and question mark.
I think we have enough time to X out a source. Yeah, well, I'm sure everyone that you play in Arena, EAD, is not the highest rated. If I snap a uh, Sun Bear, they 100% go for like Science Library ASAP. But I think this is a much more valuable card for me. They still can't cause the break, so we can. We can just play the Marabou. Oh, they even boosted build up, so we have. We have guaranteed two more turns. So now I can even build a size one for the porcupine. Uh, can't, nah, doesn't matter. We don't need to get it down yet anyway. Yeah, we can have an upgraded build action after we play Science Library, so let's not just be stupid. Casual Komodo coming back. We will have to get rid of one of these though. Yeah, so basically science library upgrade build. Just build, uh, we don't need to build a kiosk. Well, we can build kiosk. Kiosk pavilion one, something like that. Other kiosk here. What do they do? Built another weird size too. Ah oh, yeah. So a lot of the northern hemisphere has daylight saving this week. But we do not. We have daylight saving next week. Don't need to draw anything, so we have to discard anyway. This will be for the porcupine. Which, if they don't cause the break, like, I fully expect them to play another animal, so we could just play the porcupine. It doesn't change too much. Now they just cause it, fine. Porcupine could go, honestly. We have four Asia here. Just built an enclosure for it. I think Komodo goes again. Sea Cave is gone, which is another reason. Pretty dead looking display. Let's go hand size animals. Build for one of these rep. Get second worker that way, just very casual. Hopefully draw a sponsor so we can play it for money. Okay, they're doing that to get down Gorilla Field Research. That's fine. Well, they upgrade sponsors as well. Jugong is nice here. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's mainly a byproduct of this map just sucking. Jugong is absolutely fine though. That is a horrendous draw. Uh, don't mind going petting zoo here though. I mean, I should really just, well, primates is dead anyway, it doesn't matter. I think it could be a very reasonable snap. Yeah, I also want to let's dig away some stuff. Mm. 
Meerkat Den is nice. I'm I'm tempted by the petting zoos. But I think I want to hit other stuff. That, that's going to be nice later. So now we can do something like Meerkat Den here, just leave this for later. Uh, gorilla Field Research plus, plus what? No, just Gorilla Field Research. Ooh, Explorer. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, we can even just do our herb herbivores too now. So. <laughs> no TM. No TM this week at least. If you want to see good terraforming Mars gameplay, uh, follow Thread Pacifist profile there to his YouTube channel. Okay, Tamarin. Yeah, that, that is the problem, like the aviary normally goes up here, but we can totally go this game without an aviary. Like Jugong, now that we have Meerkat Den, Jugong's definitely much better. So I might just draw it from range here. Yeah, we still have time to do herbivores too. Just got to think about placement. I don't understand this, the sun bear hate, um, because I have the sun bear right here. This is cute, they get two upgrades from hitting five rep and two conservation points. They only have two cards left, I don't remember any of them now, because they we know they had gorilla field research. Yeah, here we just take snapping for the now the sponsor seems good, just Expert on Americas looks great. We already have the end game for it. We can upgrade cards here for sure. Could also eye one of these reptiles. Ooh, Kookaburra. Jugong needs to go here. They can do a full build action. I think we just want to try to hit something better than this hand. Okay, all right then. Even that's good, or that, that can be played right now. Alright. Pretty much as good as we could have hoped for. Yeah, out of... Oof. Out of all these now, I don't want this the most. Still four points, so... Our money should be fine. Yeah, we got science. Oh, we into free partner zoo here. Beautiful. Oh, they, they can cause the break, so if they let us have a turn, we should sunbathe.
We should have first dibs on snapping up the Kookaburra. Yeah, it's going to break. Hey, Jessica. Ah, uh, yes. Build five. Don't break. Don't break. Yeah, so if we get Australia Partner Zoo plus Dugong plus Kookaburra plus something else. Could still be Sea Lion, I guess. That's five Australia right there. Take the Grass Snake, okay. There we have Favourite Zoo. Damn, all the petting zoos showing up. I think because we basically have our next two projects. <sighs> Don't know if we're still going for Asia. Problem is Snowy Owl's not... It is playable after that, so we'll keep it. Something like that and that can go and that's our five cards to keep. I expect they'll break. If they don't break, we just play Science Institute. And then we have first go for Research 5. But they shouldn't be able to support a project unless they have a release. Still want the Kookaburra more than the release right now. They did just build a sus size 4 though. Nah, Kookaburra. Yeah, let's really want this partner zoo first. They can leech off for research like straight away, but we get partner zoo first. Oh, we even get this out, of course. Forgot about spokesperson. Damn, look at them all. Third uni. I'm relieved to see third uni. Means no science museum coming or they'd wait. Um, there's no need to spend an X token then. Very unlikely they could get two CP from an from it from an animal. I think I want to anyway because I want to associate twice this round. We don't really want to build too much. Too early for pouching. Probably just size twos to fill map. We'll take Australia first because we plan on playing the Dugong. Leave a size three there. Okay, we knew Grass Snake was coming. Still not sure why. And Duke, okay. Okay, yeah, there were, well, okay, yeah, they can build straight over them. So, yeah, probably a wise move to X just in case. They most likely take Asia away from us, but we can just wait around for it. We do want to do cards next. Well, actually, now now we just take Asia and we just spend the next to take Asia. Oh, they're probably going for a project anyway. We'll just do cards then because they could snap away the adult. Damn. 
Oh, damn. Come on, draw, please. I think we just take Sea Lion here for the guaranteed fifth Australia icon. Uh, and I don't have any interest in... This is pro probably the least likely. Brown Bear could still be played if we find a release. Hmm, hello. Uh, they have vet and they remembered to use it. I wonder if they snap up federal grants here. They just take five money. Five money suggests that they're about to cause the break, I guess. Hmm, in that case, I feel like playing animals first, like Dugong plus Kookaburra, can dig away some things. We can leave Federal Grants. Oh yeah, size 3 is perfect for them, dude. Could even play the dude, yeah, okay. Very sad doing this. Oh. I'm assuming it's BGA that's very laggy right now. That's unplayable. Alright, break so we get first snap. Probably looking at federal grants. Gives us something to play immediately. Or well, we can even play it just for money straight away, even get the income from it. The main reason is that I had eight cards in hand and I assume they're about to cause the break. I think I'd rather just use some of my good cards than uh, use a worker. We can have our cake and eat it too. This does uh, does make it a bit dicey for large animals, but we're kind of we're getting close to, close enough to the end of the game. We should just grab Asia first, though. I think it's so. So we have a lot of money to donate, we don't really need to uh, slam out a lot of sponsors. Build 7. Probably grab Engineer here as well. 
Actually, Bar Now could be good just for these little one gaps, gives us something to play. Could also just draw from the deck. Engineer helps, helps us fill the map and it's just more end games though, so I think it's fine to take. I considered, yeah, obviously considered flipping sponsors to do Engineer plus Federal Grants in one go, but I figured I'm going to get more value from donating like two or three times for the rest of the game. I think it's going to give more value. Rhino is very nice. Here we just build plus jumping, all right. They have three Asia. Here we just build to our uh, clever down cards. Stella Dixit, maybe. Actually, it might just be too early to clever down cards. I think we do need another cards action because I probably do want to take Pouching here. And I can leave that size 2 for the last round to fill map. So it might be better to size... Well, we also need a size 1 though. We're not playing Snowy Owl yet, are we? We are. Let's do like size three here instead. Leaves three gaps, which can be filled. Hoping it doesn't bite me in the ass. Okay, they throw out Habitat straight away for us. I think a pretty easy decision here of what to keep. Okay, they have no sponsor, so they are going to look to cause a break real soon. Uh, that makes me less inclined to do cards right now. We also don't need to spend an X or anything yet. They can't cause the break. In fact, they're going to have to do cards. So let's do the Snowy Owl to get some cards and then we can pouch them. Okay, that guy seems very reasonable to keep. That could be some handy points. Could also play the Howler to release it. Maybe should have played the Howler to boost down cards actually thinking about it. Anyway, very likely that they cause the break here, so we'll spend an X. Hala can still come next round. Like, I can please BGA. They don't have snapping, so we can still snap it up. Although I probably want to pouch whatever I snap up. Okay. 
Anyone else BGA having lag like this? Do habitats first because there's no way that they can beat us to Australia. If they don't cause the break, we can still play Engineer. Building makes sense for them. Just another size 4. Oh, gonna guess for like Sumatra and Tiger. Be pretty scary actually. It could definitely be streaming related. Yeah, I can still engineer and like film out. I still have things to do. So I don't think we need to push the break. It's on five out of nine too. Just like do another build action, like pavilion, pavilion, size one. Size two fills map. We have, we have very good end games here. Yeah, they can grab that. You know, a game basically ends in a couple of moves. We just Sun Bear into Australia 5 plus Lima or something. I assume we're still waiting for them. Filling map gets us plus 9 from here. Okay, break. We are clever down cards. That gets us to 75 plus 80, 80. Okay, we end. We end. Okay, they, they need money and desperately. That's really odd to spend an X token there. Actually, kind of alarming. Shouldn't be, shouldn't really be scared. Well, there's nothing better to play. We have to snap something. Oh yeah, I forgot about pouching as well. Yeah, game's well and truly over. We have uh, very nice end games here. There should be no way that we can lose. We can even get last worker as well. Yeah, not worried. Our end games are just too good. The only way we lose is if we can't have our turn in time. Which is a real possibility right now. It's kind of annoying.
So pretty solid overall. Dugong definitely helped for against Australia 5. Meerkat Den was a uh, really nice draw at the time just to get Herbivores 2 and sort of connect the map up for 8 rep. Let's see what they have. It is some Arch and Tiger. Still don't understand why they needed all of the money. I guess they thought the game would last more than one turn. They can play a flocking animal, but that's about it. No, that's all they have. GG. Well, the opponent definitely saw me take the Sun Bear, but it's another thing to like track it for the whole game. It's easy to forget things like that. I mean, it seems like a BGA thing to me, because this is loading just fine. Right, that's a nice plus four. That was 29 turns for 143, yeah. Ice Cream just has a... Ice Cream just really... You can get quick games on it. Just really accelerates the game. Because of all the extra money. All right, let's queue for a couple of other things. Uh, all right, we found World straight away. All right, we're on a big winning streak today. Big winning streak. And it's going to continue. All right. So I don't like to pick instantly just to don't, so I don't tip them off that I have something amazing. Uh, but there's one white here and three yellows. So need to keep that in mind. Also some nice blue cards. No black cards, really. Yeah, we need one white. We're going to get one yellow from here at least. Maybe even two. They start recycling plants. So hopefully there's one more white. There is. Alright, so we get our white and we deny them building recycling plant. There's magnetic train as well, but I still think it's more important to just take the white here. Um, we'll just take the blue card. They even... yeah, okay, taking away Atlantis is probably fair enough, but... Let's take magnetic train away from them. Still getting a yellow coming back here. Looks like they're going yellow. Sort of makes me more lean towards museum. Just so I have some place for all the yellow discards to go. And I'm getting a yellow back. Security's fine. I'm going to probably have a lot of generals. Uh, but cities of gold is not bad either. I think I'd rather take a scoring card though. And we just get our yellow. <laughs> well, I'm kind of shocked that they let this go for two drafts, but I understand taking away Atlantis from us. Yeah, it's not going to be the most amazing start because we don't produce any blue in the first round. 
But we're set up fine. I'm, yeah, they don't really have anything either. They have much worse. But if I was them, magnet magnetic train's an easy first pick there. Yeah, curious. Maybe I do regret not taking Cities of Gold. I still figure they're going some sort of yellow build and I just want to keep denying them yellow. Oh yeah, oh god, that's, that's a very ugly start. I really hate starts like this. It's just too much focus on white cards. Yeah, the, well, the problem is the only use for the black was uh, satellites, which I couldn't build in the first round anyway. There was no black card for it to go on, so I couldn't do much about it. I still think building the them and like getting a Crystallium plus the general in the first round is worth it. That was more interesting. There's a lot of there's a lot of good cards here for us, but Lunar Base is just universally good for both of us, so we take that. They do get a Harbor Zone, which is what they need. Kind of have to take Icebreaker here, because they'd still need a blue for their oil rig, and it would be a good one for them to take away. But there's a lot of scary cards here for them. We also would like a submarine, but we could also equally get zeppelins, so just take Roswell, get one of these two back, maybe even both of them back. Don't even know we need to take away from them, but we want yellow discards, so I think we just take away National Monument. I mean, it doesn't even make sense to take stuff away because they can only grab two of these anyway, but we just want the yellow. All right, Zeppelin comes back. Could even get Polar Base back from here, which would be fine. Just take the yellow again. Military base could be interesting as well. They're discarding these two to build recycling plant. They do take it away, it's fine. Uh, we're going to spend our white on building a wind turbine then. Our production is not amazing yet. We can use extra black here on Lunar Base anyway. Lunar Base probably top priority out of these. Yeah, but they still have they still have nothing compared to us. Now, this would be a, a hell of a lot scarier if they had magnetic train instead of recycling plant.
What they should have done there is instead of putting the black on space elevator, they should have discarded it and built research center before uh, green production. It gives them an extra finance here plus some green production that they can use anyway. Icebreaker important. Robot assistance also. Cicada don't particularly want to give them, and I can use the white on something like a military base anyway. I expect icebreakers should come back in most cases. Hmm. This would be very nice to get built. It's a little bit scary giving them another secret society, like another multiplier though. Looks like they're just going blind for yellow to build Harbor Zone. I want aircraft carrier, but I think it's more important to take away the yellow. Especially there, there's no yellow in this hand. So they probably have to take their... oh wow. We just take our aircraft carrier, let, let him have a yellow. It's the cl obvious clear choice for my build, but I think one of the only ways I lose is if they have like four or five times financier multipliers and I just don't get enough scoring. Yeah, we have a white discard for that. We need another black to build both of these. We are getting a black back. There's an airborne lab in the other hand as well, I think. Hmm, doesn't... well... We actually do need the production, so might build this over Icebreaker. Could take away the yellow as well, because it is useful for us and it the problem is it doesn't stop Harbor Zone getting built because they basically have a crystallium ready to go. Save this just for the last round, be an easy build. So I think, yeah, these two this round, then one, two next round, just hopefully find some more blue cards next round. Yeah, it seems like discard, discard. Discard time travel for the oil rig, build the oil rig. They can have a lot of financiers, but only two multipliers is less scary. We already have two general multipliers plus some decent scoring cards. Lunar base and museum and uh, Avalon. Yeah, see, there's, there's, like, there's no lag here with this game. So it seems like it's just an arc thing. Oh, they kept the financial center. They discarded time travel and used the crystallium on Harbor Zone. Okay.
Yeah, they produce a lot, but... Uh, lunar base most important. They only produce six yellow, which is basically all going on these three cards. Means they can't build a whole lot in the last round. Blue is the easiest thing for us to build. This is like a seven point card plus a crystallium, which is useful. So we take Bermuda Triangle if it comes back to Juggernaut as well as decent priority. Basically no scoring here, so... Gravity Inverter. The scariest scoring card. We can't really build Super Soldiers. Mm. Yeah, I think they like they can build Gravity Inverter if they discard things for Secret Lab, so... But they, they really struggle to produce enough yellow for Giant Tower as well. We do get this back. Juggernaut does look quite good. Just take a yellow. Juggernaut goes, fine. So now we could look at Research Center just to win the green bonus. It would tie us. Because they're getting they're gonna produce six. They might even discard things for secret labs, so it might not be worth fighting for. Uh yeah, this is transportation network is just a free like six points. We get one white back for it. And this, I don't think, matters. None of these should be buildable. Mm. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Can we build Bionic? I don't think so. I don't think there's any miracle world where we can build submarine like instead of icebreaker. We have some crystallium, but it's basically all going to museum. So these three are for sure. Yeah, we'd need three crystalline for bionic grass. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I think when it's building everything except submarine. This seems a bit ambitious. They produce seven. 
mean, it's scary looking, but it's an empty threat. But if they get these two plus, plus genetic, plus secret lab, should, shouldn't be enough. Maybe plus giant tower is close. Honestly, it's going to be actually close. Just needed, like, probably should have taken another blue building at the start. Well, I basically have giant tower plus the two multipliers. Multipliers also give financiers. Now we have them. Finish on seventy seven. I assume that it's calculating, but just in case. Yep, not even close. That's the main reason I really didn't want to give him another financier multiplier, because that is the trouble with financiers, you can just get them for free from everywhere. Uh, but yeah, we didn't hit a whole lot of endgame blue cards, which is what held our score back a lot. Like we had, we had, a, we had a lot of production left over. And we did miss out. Basically letting him have green bonus for a few rounds helped as well. Plus not building a black card in the first round did hurt. But still enough. <laughs> yeah, I see the invites there, BJ. I'll get to them later, please. So most likely we just find Azul instantly, but I'll search for Bunny Kingdom as well. You can search for Stella, why not? If this finds before the other two, yeah, it's just never going to find before the other two. And Obsession we play not in Arena mode. 
All right, this is all. Not gonna check the rating. Well, actually, am I? Maybe I will. I start with three blue, which is yeah, amazing. Can't do anything to stop that. They're 400 and they just got Master Assassin three minutes ago. Oh god, they're high on high in confidence. It's a lot of red here. I'm not sure that we're gonna get it, but I think we just take away two white. I think three's fine as well. They could definitely go for one white to sort of annoy us. We don't want to give them a ton of red here. So it seems like two blue, and then if they start, if they like combine the red first by taking one white, we just take four red. Curious to see what they do here. Let's take two red, that's fine. Just uh, secure our white. I think we're happy pretty much either way. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy getting two things here. Red seems like first priority to, to take. And then we get either blue or yellow, don't really care which one. I assume we get yellow, but discarding doesn't mean too much right now. We get first player, we're working well towards this row, so now we're both sort of fighting over black. But three yellow is amazing for them. And we're not finishing blue this round. So three yellow must be the first thing to grab. Wouldn't be surprised if they take one red with first player here. Then we might just go for like two black. Also wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'm surprised by one white. But I think we'll happily take two black with first player. Guaranteed two black here. Even gifting us the red. And they're taking this round slowly, which is exactly what we want. Should take two black. If they take two black, we still get two white for line two, but now we get two black for line two. And we get one of these back for line one. I guess we probably just deny them the yellow and then take either blue or white because we don't really care which one. Yeah, I don't think we want to start them off yellow here. Okay, we are first player again. A bit all over the place. We really do need to focus on the middle row this round. Okay, three blue is perfect start. Yeah, don't want to mess around with that. They are going to take three black, which is yeah, fine. I think we, if we let, if we put the black in the middle, they should take first player with it, I think. And then we get two yellow. Important for that middle row. We're not going for two columns because I don't think there's enough black in the game for that. But wow, that is gifting us everything. In fact, this even makes it very hard for them to finish yeah, we're just taking that away. 
don't like that move at all. Black definite trap here. I think we just take it and floor it. There shouldn't, I'm not tracking, but there should not be enough black for us to do five down here plus one up here. Because they've already completed line five of it too. Yeah, oh, beautiful round for us though. There should be a ton of red though. Maybe it's all coming the last round. Just take first player here. Uh, just take two red here. They might deny us line two, so just take two red. They can have first player. We're happy with one red as well. What tile do they want? Guess we should actually... Actually, there are a lot of blacks here, but there can't be that many in the last round. So I think we do take our black here for line one. Potentially dump some black line three. I still don't think we go for line five. Just make sure that they don't finish at this round. They should take one black, I think. I'm more than happy to take that. We get stuck with yellow, but not a not a big deal. So it's ten black. Just dump these on line five. There's at least like seventeen or eighteen black on. There's ten here. There's uh eight here. So there should only be two max left. Yeah, one. So it makes white highest priority. And yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Put the yellow in the middle plus take a white. I should have I should have been counting tiles. I had, I have I have a rough idea. Like I knew there wasn't a lot of black coming. I knew there was a ton of red coming. Yeah, now we just finished that. That's game there. They don't they don't finish line. Oh my god, they even put this on five. They should have just put it on one. I don't I have no idea why they didn't put it on one actually. I mean we don't even care if we get a lot of reds because it's just a tile for us. Like we can do four blue here. We could even leave the four blue. But it's good enough that we could just do it. Yeah, red is amazing for us still. It's like a third row done. Yeah, I think we just we just place maximize our own score. That's a nice and full board.
right, the winning streak continues. I think we also went up about 200 as all ranks there. I think we'll just actually just join these. That'll fix it. Okay, Bunny Kingdom, Stella. What else do we feel like today? We've still got a ton of time actually. We are well ahead of schedule. Definitely no, no for Terraforming Mars this week though still. Could do a Seven Wonders Duel. Definitely do want to play Obsession. Could could also do a for sale. Uh, just double. I think Arena Mode is fine for the settings. The issue is it's it's absolutely going to tank the win streak though. I don't know if we want to do that. And Veil we can't play an arena. Actually, we can. Oh. It's three player though. I haven't played three player. Honestly, wouldn't mind playing a glow either, but I really hate the arena settings. Hey, SDD. Happy Easter. In We're having a very happy Easter right now. We are undefeated so far. Not in arena. Uh, well, when I queue for like Veil and Obsession, I can queue for Stella out of arena as well. Still like upset that you can't queue for arena and non-arena at the same time. Missing one in four sale. Do I really want to get angry this early into the night? Have a peek at our opponents, our potential opponents. Good player, good player. Hmm, what else? We do have a lot of time. Oh yeah, there's, there's Arnak as well. Um, but yeah, we probably will finish with an arc. We tend to finish the stream with an arc. Yeah, arc's, arc's not going to be for another couple of hours anyone that's hanging on for an arc game We've got other things to do first uh, we can queue for Arnak as well feeling feeling confident today like let's get an Arnak win <laughs> well if you queue for arena right now 
I don't think I have any restrictions. Actually been meaning to check what the top players are like. So much lag. 2,028, wow. That's really odd to see such a large gap between first and second. I mean, even between like first and 10th, that's a massive gap. And it's not like it's an unpopular game. That's actually like really surprising. Hmm. Looks like we are finding no one. Still two in four sale, one in Bunny Kingdom. Everyone had some good time off. It's like, it's public holidays all four days here in Australia, like Friday to Monday. So it's still a public holiday tomorrow which is just as well, you can sleep in. All right, we found for sale. Some ratings all over the shop. What are we thinking about the first one? Uh, hmm. Thinking an opening bit of four would be quite annoying for us, but is probably what's going to happen. If there is an opening bit of four, I believe we do go up to five. Yeah, but then if we get outbid, it's pretty annoying as well. Opening bit of opening bit of five, I think we just pass. Worth a five bid. Just please, please pass. Oh, don't really want to be paying three for a 20. It's just, it's just very bad for green. It's, it's a lot to pay. First player advantage is a bigger deal in Azul or Arc. Hmm. It's a good question. I find it more annoying in Azul, but it's probably a bigger deal in Arc. It's the same in both though. Like the first player in Azul can have almost no advantage if there's only like two groups of two and a first player in Arc can have no advantage if there's like nothing to snap or no contested projects. All right, I think we might be in the worst position out of the first round. Maybe blue is worse. Oh, this is 
Green's not going to start with a high bid either. I, I already have a terrible, terrible feeling about this game. I think we're going to have to pass and get the one here. Pretty sure this is a seven bid and it's disgusting, but we, we never bid eight here. We just have to find a use for the one. The good thing about the player before us bidding seven is that they are broke for like, they've already spent two, so they only have 5k left, which means we should get pretty easy properties next couple of rounds. Seven is a lot to pay. Oh, money is even visible. We don't even have to track. Oh my God, please. Honestly, just start off with like a two or something. I'm getting flashbacks here to 30. Yeah, one, one is, one can be all right. It just sucks knowing that everyone's gonna get higher than you that round. I think we go up to four. Green and... Someone might outbid, like blue might outbid because they passed in the first round, they have a lot of money. Wow, I don't think green should be outbidding there. But I think everyone should be passing. Please, dear God, someone don't bid six. There's no reason to bid six here. It's only a 23. So getting a 15 for two is, is a good deal. That's a very good deal. Plus going last into this next round is very beneficial because we'll almost certainly not be outbid here. Yeah, four, something like five, pass. I don't know if it's worth going six. Thing is, even with a six, I think we do get outbid. But there's still two rounds left and we should just be happy taking an 11. But blue still has a ton of money. Actually, 28 is like the best card left, so I think six is reasonable. <laughs> and we can bid pretty much anything and not get the lowest card this round. Wait, green is green is uh dead broke. We can bid a one here and like Oh, I think blue and black are in such good positions. I mean I'd be happy if black passed here. But yeah, they shouldn't. Now it's just a matter of how much they open the next bidding with. They probably open with three or something. I think they should open with three. Oh, okay. They've actually, they've been very nice to us. We pass and get the six. So actually it's, it's a fairly decent hand, even though we have the one, it's a decent hand. This should be, please start a bidding war. Go six. Ah, lame. So these guys, well, a bit of leftover money. Okay, this, this is the use for the one. Oh my God. We get eight. The thing is like a six probably wins the 14, but just have to use the one here. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. Eight gets the 14. Yeah, but one for eight. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is just a throwaway round, honestly. 
just get rid of the six. It's so risky to put like the 28 here. Someone's, yeah, 24, 29, just a throwaway round. I think we're fine with that. And now we can start. What the hell is this? 19 could win this round. 19 should win this round. Yeah, nice. Sniped it away from 16. We've seen 29. There's still the 30. This could be a round for 30. But I think this is a round for 20. There's still the 30 out there. Okay, getting the eight's fine. We're just saving our highest for last. I guess everyone has high numbers left. We're getting second on this one. Okay, 13's fine. Not a mate, okay, it's not first. What are we though? <laughs> How? <laughs> How? Am I just a meme streamer right now? That did not feel that bad. Our hand was good. Getting the zero probably really hurt. Should have used the 28 a bit more aggressively. <laughs> not blaming anyone else for this one. I feel like our hand was decent enough. Yeah, I did think blue and black were in the best positions. Ah, oh, funny. The thing is, the... The zero round was terrible. It was like zero, zero, 002 were the worst three. So like I could have put a 28 there, but the top one was 12 and someone put a 29. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I think it's just stacked against me either way. I'm not going to I'm not going to dwell on it. <laughs> that is three of the fattest losses I've ever taken in a row though. Get, get just get the 30. Hmm. The start with the one was perfect as well, but the thing with that is even though we place the one, everyone gets a good card for their cheap one. So having the one is a pretty big disadvantage. I think that round in the bidding just really screwed us over getting the one. All right, let's Q4. Where is it? Obsession, Veil, Stella. Found Obsession very quickly against a pro Brass Birmingham. Haven't accepted yet, but... Oh, they don't want to play us. All 
All right, take two. All right, we find Veil vale this time. Okay, I've played a couple of turn-based games. I don't think I've got the hang of it yet, but I feel more comfortable. I would love Water Giant first, but really not going to happen. I think Water Giant would be the best out of these by far. But we could also just take Ember and make him discard that. Earn 7 plus a discard. Plus it's just worth the most. Uh, discard a card in your hand and earn the thing. Exchange one of your stones with a 6. This seems really bad. It's an instant effect and you have to pay 6. Someone please explain Stone Golem to me. Yeah, just... They get to build Water Giant straight up, of course. But yeah, we, we get to kill it next round before it can use the value from it, so I think it's fine. That, that does mean that we're playing Ember next round. But, yeah, it's fair. Actually, the really annoying thing is we can't. It costs seven. Earn two, recover. Okay, I like Imp a lot. Yep, no, terrible. Steal one, lame. I like the earn two, recover. I just don't know what we're spending our things on. I also like this one a lot. I think if you look on the forums, Andrew Smiles posted a posted a nice guide for uh, for this. I still need to learn all the card names because he alluded to a lot of the card names, but I just, I just don't know them. I think we just keep keep. No point summoning either. I mean, no point summoning anything. Uh, if they want to play the Goblin and steal one a turn, I think that's fine. On the BGA forums. This earns them two points around. I think we can live with that. Oh, that's, that's the dude we want. Whenever you tame a water card, earn. Really just can't let them have that. Really feel like we need to play something. Don't think that's ever a combo for them. But this also just does nothing for us right now. This could potentially give us some points. I don't know. Are we playing Triton? Triton Imp. They do keep the Mimic. Like it, this, this what what I don't understand is it's round three. We have nothing. We have absolutely zero. I can play this as well, but how is it helping me? It's just giving me card fodder for for this guy in the late game. But it's basically free to play. Um. Okay, I guess it doesn't make any sense to play it right now, though. We don't have to play it now. So they're getting some slow points. I 
should really just take the water card whenever you summon a card using the threes. That has a very good synergy. It has to be that. It has a very good synergy. We get six for taming it alone. Yeah, so if I'm queuing for multiple games, it should like create a manual table for each one. So if you search, if you look manually, you should should be able to find my table when I'm queuing for the games, but the tables obviously get deleted if I find another game. All right, taming you is a no-brainer. Then we play you because you can give us points instantly. Earn two for each blah blah card in your area. Seems reasonable. Could also, yeah, should also just save it for later, but we can summon the imp. Uh, the main thing was I didn't want to waste anything. Okay, we can summon this dude actually, yeah, okay. Doesn't do anything this round, but gets rid of this for later. So this seems like it's only going to give me plus two points. It is indeed. It's fine. Uh, we're getting some points now. I, I like this little water combo. We got this for a point bomb at the end. Lava Giant's just pretty much dead. We No, Lava Giant can be a mini point bomb. Gargoyle is dead. Each card in your hand, not amazing. Earn total value of your sixes. Yeah, I don't think that's for either of us. This is just earn four ones each turn. I think we just get discard this guy for the six. Maybe even discard this guy for the three. Also, because it yeah, just gives us the three. I think we're just playing Imp Lava Giant this round. Uh, okay. I shouldn't be on too much of a delay, I hope, but it's YouTube does sometimes like lag behind, so you might have to click live again. I hope I'm not that much delayed. We should be on low low latency. Okay. Ten to fifteen seconds is normal, I think. Yeah, get this dude, play Lava Giant for like four points, just so we don't waste any gems. Discard, discard. Now we're ready to play anything. Like ne neither of us have very much. Although 
although we have a lot more gems to spend. Discard a card from your hand and summon another card for free. Earn one point for each of your threes, and that's ongoing. It's not very much. If there is no, well, that's not relevant for us. Either way, we take one of these. Sea Spirit could be interesting to play. Hmm. Summoning for free. Discard and summon for free. It's too early to play this, but we're wasting gems, because if we tame this guy, we're going to get two threes straight away. So should we actually remove a card? It costs six to remove a card. That's so expensive, though. We'd remove that, if anything. We have to pay a six. I don't know if removing is ever the right move, but... I'm just replacing it with junk. But I think this kind of works. What we do is summon you, then summon you, then sell you. Now we are loaded. So like last round, this is roughly 20 points. I'm just not sure how we're getting to 60. Got to find another combo piece. We have a lot of money. That could be nice. Draw a card and recovers nice. Basilisk is way too late. I feel like it's one, two. You can play Dandelion Spirit straight away. I mean, like, play Dandelion Spirit. Play you. They have six cards in hands now, so they're getting a six every turn if they don't play anything. That cannot be correct. 
I just did that to play for zero points. Earn seven, doesn't seem too bad actually. We spend a six here and then discard, uh, tame that for two water. Oh, can't be summoned because this can't apply the instant effect. All right, lovely. Could just be time to throw this out. It's not going to get... Oh, you idiot. If you play the imp, you can't do that. We spend everything. And then we tame you to get two waters. Feels like we're getting closer, but we're still a long way away from 60. So we need another card like this. But we do make some space with the spirit going away. Earn eight points and they get rid of a green. Or we get rid of a green. That could actually be really useful. Too late for exchanging. Earn six. Earn six for that price seems pretty good actually. Yeah. Possible we could have a combo with like playing this then then Leviathan. Play it then remove it. And the question is do we get to 60 before round 10? And I don't think they should be giving us one of these. This just gives us a lot of uh, gems when we tame it. So I feel like we play you. We just tame you because it's literally better than selling. We just draw a card. We are. Oh, we play you, get six. So actually, we actually are very close to ending. Oh, we can play two things. Miss sequence. Uh, draw Tengu. All oh, right, I see. We can't it. We can't. Uh... I see. Draw a card, and this one always goes on top. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Either way, we're gonna end next round. So I'm feeling a bit better about not being a noob that can't finish in ten rounds. Yeah, okay, that actually, that straight up just ends the game. I see. That 
That's actually quite clever. I like that then. That's a nice combo. So we could do it next round. Play this, play this, play this. That's, that's very cool actually. I like it. I did I did note that Andrew said we should be ending in seven or eight rounds. I mean so we could have ended in eight if I recognized that sequence, so I don't feel too bad. But it felt like we were getting points from nothing early. And then Yeah, you know, all of a sudden the points are coming in now. Oh nice, we get one of these waters which gives us all the blue we need to uh to finish. Activate all after effects, not too impactful. <laughs> Round six, wow. Yeah, I actually always wondered what the hell was the point of this, but it just, a lot of the pink cards let you draw instantly, so it has a lot of synergy. That's, that's cute. Uh, I think we just take these for the gems and we can summon this, then this, then this, then something else. I don't know what else though. Maybe one of these, discard all your stones. Okay, yeah, yeah. Play that. All right, this is good. All right, we're going to get like 70, 80. So one, two, three, four. Oh, they keep stealing our points though. We should still end. Yeah, this this move by them was I, I think they just didn't understand the card. That that gave them literally nothing. They just discarded a card and blocked two space for nothing. Okay, summon. Tame. Summon. Summon. Tame summon. Still going on about that. Beautiful. Okay, so see the see the pink combo, see like the Good water combo going. Just don't get timed out. Okay, flow. Yeah, this is 
I'm playing some turn-based games of it. Haven't played much live, but yeah. I'm starting to, starting to get the hang of it, I think. Exactly, every game should be able to finish in 23 turns in arc. Alright, yeah, really regretting playing this in the middle of our win streak now. Bunny Kingdom would be two player if I queue for it. Which I don't mind. It is my favorite player count. But, okay, we find Obsession. Forest Shuffle. Honestly, the game frustrates me too much. It's... I like York a lot. I think York is by far the best. The game frustrates me mainly because I can never tell the difference between like the green leaf and the dark blue leaf. I think that is personally poor design. But it's also because I'm playing kind of zoomed out. Oh yes, I am definitely not, not good at Forest Shuffle. I've played it a bit, but I it's okay, it just feels frustrating. Alright, they are first player. We have red as the bonus here. But they start with the brushing room, which is a very good denial from me, because that's a that's an amazing card for us. But anyway, given red is the thing of me, I think we like the fence paddock a lot, which means we need money. Butler's pantry also interesting, but I think I'd rather fight for the paddock first. Uh, and yeah, so we just need we need a lot of money actually. We we actually need to do the bowling green. That gives. 300 plus that, that is enough. Use, use one of the ones that requires a servant. Yeah, then we use a red, then we use private study, then we use the other red. We just have to, we have to hope to draw into good enough, uh, into enough guests. Yeah, we, we need to use both of these for sure. Means hiring staff has to come later, but we might get the butler's pantry as well. Seems unlikely though. They are just hire staff. They can still get the butler's pantry. They do get it. And there is another fence paddock, but there's no way that they can afford it. Let's get butler and marble flooring. What the heck is marble flooring? That must be an expansion thing. We don't do expansions around these parts. Uh, so we need to leave family members. I think something like that. All right, that gives a prestige. You are playable. You draw a guest though, which might be more important for this round immediately. Uh, writing style tables are very cheap. Seems like a fair buy.
Forest Shuffle has an expansion. Marble Flooring. Is that one of the monument things? This is still base game, just extended game, I think they call it. Right? Okay, next move is private study. Family, family. Draw into a playable guest, we pray. I think we care more about the money right now. Uh... Okay, that's actually, that actually is very, very bad. Don't need to buy anything. That's like disastrously bad. Should have just taken the rep. Actually, that was so dumb not taking the rep. How much does this give us? Two rep. Oh, that was that was terrible. Actually, did it matter? No, it didn't matter. Okay, we just absolutely screwed ourselves by taking the paddock. Well, this will be an uphill battle now. We can't even uh, hire... We have to pass and buy English Garden to tie. That's what it seems like. How much is that going to hurt my long-term game? Well, we have to pass. But English Garden at least ties this round, so it's not a complete disaster. Didn't even check our goals, but we do get extra points here. Uh, okay. Smoking plus drawing seems the least likely to happen. There is smoking room, but... Barn. And we are green, okay. We have a decent head start on green. Not a head start. Okay, we need we need reputation. Gain the rep, get the tennis court for green. This is free rep, which could be useful. Okay, drawing into prestige, good. And I know under the barn is the servants' quarters, even though we can't see it. So I kind of, I don't really want to buy the barn because there's a better blue card underneath it that'll get revealed. I think we just look to get more money right now. Um, yeah. And draw prestige guests and just regular guests. With 400. Don't know that we buy anything just yet. We could save up for like the billiards room. Yeah, that's plus seven. They shouldn't be able to overtake us. Their rep is not high enough to play billiards room. And the tennis court's very expensive. I think we're sort of recovering a bit. 
might be a good time to hire actually because we are going to need staff. Wow, they're actually going to buy the tennis court. No, they buy the billiards, which is not playable yet. There's still a long way from reputation to play it. It seems like a good time to hire while we get our staff back. Let me just take one and one. And again, I don't think we buy anything. Then next round we look at yeah, the front parlor for rep. Maybe they are getting enough. Surely not. Okay, gonna be a nice bonus to win this green. More reputation here, plus just more guests. Drawing prestige guests is amazing and also doesn't give me negative points, so that's a clear pick. Can we buy anything with 700? Smoking room is kind of tempting, but it's not playable just yet. Breakfast room is also tempting. Oh, the servants' quarters is here. Oh, easy. They they bought the uh they bought the barn. That's an easy pick then. <laughs> Do I like let myself get caught up in the th uh, theatrics of the game? Not really. I should I should start though like. We're doing the tennis court act. It's all just numbers to me, but this is the tennis court activity. <laughs> it's yeah, it's completely just points, money, and money. <laughs> I won't lie. Oh, we actually have national holiday next. Should be a great time to do English garden. For three ladies though. Really want to be able to use both of these, I think. So we might have to find a different activity. And what objective? Tennis, cricket, croquet. We have tennis. Croquet is one of them's out here. It doesn't seem very likely. Breakfast and North Dining Room. Breakfast is here. So we should go for that. Oh, and there's North Dining Room. Let's go for that. Yeah, but what are we doing? Um, what's the color? Purple. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, what's, what's really bad is we can only um, do two people at once. So ma maybe the play is just English Garden, but we... No, that is something that I don't mentally say. <laughs> they buy the long gallery. So English Garden actually just probably is the best thing. Ah, so hard to... Like, we have to use this to get all our staff back, or we just... 
Yeah, it makes more sense to refresh a servant for three rep. And then we go like one, two, three. We uh, we actually have a lot of dudes. Then we want the breakfast room. I like the I, I like the idea of the game. It, it's funny. But yeah, it, it don't find it the easiest to get into character. Man, we have a lot of good stuff to do in the breakfast room. <laughs> so breakfast room, we have to refresh stuff again for three reputation, but I think that's fine. Go like one, two, three, four. Wait, no, sorry, we have uh, we have two dudes here. One, two, three, four. And they're going very hard on purple now. So we should get the sweet. It's, it's uh, really close to being playable. It costs 600, we don't have money. We have 300 here. One, two, three, four. How oh, we actually do have enough. Let's cash in. We still have plenty of time. North dining room's getting closer. Fence paddock, guess we should play at some point. Yeah, how are we getting more rep though? We do want to use the suite as soon as possible. But it's a bit far away. We could also buy the music room. I just don't think we have enough money and uh guests to do all that yeah all these i'm very happy about all these prestiges we just needed more rep this could be a good turn to pass actually pass and we get like her back to use before she disappears which gets another guest. Probably won't need to pass again after that, so I think it's reasonable. Yeah, we just we're not gonna win purple. This is this is gonna be a, like a great last couple of turns. So all they although. Can't really play all of these. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of points sitting here. Roger Viscount Benton got dismissed. How outrageous. Scandalous. This is four points and it dismisses. We actually don't have any negative casual guess. Hmm. This is just using five people. Hmm. 
like one, two, three, four, Uh, plus you that gives the rep with a prestige mail. Seven hundred buys north dining room, which we can use soon. <laughs> Alright, up to five reputation, up to five point four. Next round, I think is a good time to do fence paddock. Uh, yeah, we have that. So, Cabinet of Curiosities. No guarantee we're going to get it. We have guaranteed points with the others, so... Okay, yeah. This seems like a really good time while we have not a lot of staff. We need any two yes. We want ones that give us reputation. Or just more prestige guests, or both. Oh, now we can dismiss the negative one that we just got. Both negative three. Last is brown, but all colors are equally important. We would like to buy the music room. I think we just skip for now. Uh, the Americans are the negative ones, are they? Outrageous. Oh, they are. Okay, American heiress. Scandalous. Look at these big guys coming in, though. North dining room. Which means you can't be played there. Yeah, we can at least play one of you. You. Eleven hundred pounds. Okay. I think... There's no way we're losing. Look at all the look at all the guests we have that are worth a ton of points. We have more VP cards. We're even ahead in this, I think. Okay, you are just strictly better by one rep. We want more guests. We want more guests. We need two more. We don't want more casual guests because they can be negative. We can buy croquet for a, a little discount. Well, we want something that's going to let us use a lot of people. Maybe like music room for six points is better. <laughs> mm, I guess this round actually, oh, we can use, oh, this is perfect to use for the next round. Draw one prestige and double all its favors. That's actually amazing to use while all, all, our, all the staff come back. I forgot about that. Should have used that earlier, I think. I actually couldn't because it needs six rep. Yeah, this is perfect to use next round. We have our end goals. This is going to give us a ton of points. It's a solid 3 VP. It's pretty even here, actually. We're ahead by two, but they're having a turn right now. 
So they're ahead by one. Reps are even. But we have so many more guests, I think we're okay. Doesn't look like they'll have to pass though. Two VP cards, lovely. Oh, 1,200 pounds, okay, if you insist. So last round we're using Music Room. Then it doesn't particularly matter what we buy. We just save our money. Uh, no French Garden, no Under Butler. Ah, uh, yes. Can definitely ditch you for plus three. That seems like a good last move. I'm not sure we can beat them here. Only three gentry, though. Well, actually, VP plus prestige guess is just straight up. This is not max. We're getting four here, so we basically are maxed. Ah, it's a shame we can't play you as well. Yeah, please leave. Yeah, I don't think buy anything actually is worth. Mm, maybe should have spent that for one point. It's like one extra point that we get on them. Yeah, we are we are at max rep. We're not at max. Okay, well we can ditch one of these for max. That's okay. Still think we have it in the bag. So many bonus points here, plus all the guests. Plus a lot of leftover money, plus max reputation. Yeah, should should not be close. Still haven't seen any of the damn marble flooring. Solid game though. I think I still think Servants Quarters is like clearly the best uh, card in the game. Oh wow, they actually got to max rep. Okay, maybe it's going to be closer than we think. Hmm, especially if they get the Fairchild. Which is close. What are they doing? That gives plus five, so I think they do get it. They're two ahead. We're three. We're one ahead. We're two ahead. So actually, buying the smoking room would have been much better. I don't think anything gives them plus. Yeah, buying not buying the smoking room was just a mistake. It does actually cost us a lot of points. Oh my god, there it is. Yeah, I could have used that.
呃，对对对对对 ，Yeah, we just need two. Now we are maxed. Yes. Skip. Well, we don't got it. We can't buy it, but it's here. Would have would have loved to buy it last round. Okay, we got it by forty points. Just solid. Most of it's from just guess, I guess. Yeah, plus twenty six in、uh, gentry victory points. Plus some from the objectives. Yeah, we actually killed the objectives. Plus leftover money. We'll take it. I don't know if I've seen. Not sure how likely we are to find Stella. And these were the two games that we were queuing for, not in Arena. So I feel like we go back to Arena and just queue for. Where the heck's Arnak there? I think time works out all right if we play Bunny Kingdom Arnak Arc like final three. Wouldn't mind playing Stellar. It's just always seems impossible to find a lobby. Still bamboozled on for sale. I actually want to show my history in for sale because this is actually ridiculous. I mean, it's clearly me being out of practice, but I have never lost so much in a row. Three of the biggest losses ever, and before that. Is like, okay, that's a bad example. Just like all these wins to get plus, like I'm at three eightieth, four hundred here, four seventeen, and it's all of a sudden down to two seventy three. Yeah, I, I never expected Arena Stella to happen, but we were queuing in normal mode. It it still is funny to me that there is Arena in Stella and. People are ranked in it. Dude, there is a whole bunch of elite people here. Actually, very curious what the meta is. Do you just only pick like two cards each round? Is it an arms race to pick the least amount of cards possible? I'm I am fascinated. But yeah, seemingly no one can get past sixteen hundred, which is a very, very low total. All time is only three eighty six. Well. I mean, I'm sure the people at the top are trying to min max in Stella Dixit. It is a choice for sure. Yeah, a lot of the luck based games, like Yahtzee, is pretty popular for Arena. I think that's heavily luck based.
Come on, one of them, please. I think the problem with Arnak is no one wants to play against a bronze player. I don't think I've restricted my settings at all. Although I, I might have, actually. No, I haven't. Bunny Kingdom, I haven't. Can't stop, yes. What's can't stop like? Can't stop much easier to find a game, though. 1800? More strategic than Stella, apparently. 470? 15 million games played. That is a lot. I think that must be the most on BGA. One minute can't stop game. So just that times 15 million. All right, here we go. Gold League Arnak opponent. Feeling confident, we've only had one bad loss today. Feeling good. Nine million. Really want the aeroplane. Doesn't look like we're gonna have tempo to get it. Tablets, Ruby. Also, not having the compasses is uh, just disgusting. Oh, it's oh they haven't ended their turn. Come on, man. You want the two coins first because you want the aeroplane. Oh, you want the compasses? What the heck? Sundial. Oh, that's kind of cute, I think. Is it? God, I actually don't know what order to do stuff in now. I feel like securing the aeroplane is a huge deal, uh, but I don't want to give him this for free. I feel like we go up here with the magnifying glass first. Just to get the coin and then we spend our two coins here. I feel like it is that important. They might have... No, it seems like they don't have it yet. Otherwise they'd just do it. Oh, you... It's annoying. Well, we do get some compensation. We get an assistant round one. Still not very happy though. Yeah, I don't know. What was up with the sundial, though? It's 
So I think we just get compass assistant. Yeah, uh, clear choice. Compass guy, then we're close to buying star charts. And we're going to see if there's any items here. Our journal could actually be really useful. Excel start to research with your book token for free. It can still be very useful next round. I think we just take it. Ah, sturdy boots though, damn it. We're giving him that for free. Not happy at all about that. I mean, their, their deck is pretty stacked already. They started with both their coins and compasses. We started with double fear. They don't buy sturdy boots. I don't know what's up with that. That feels like a mistake to me. All right, star charts just disappears. Small obscure hobby. What, board games? Yes, I guess. Okay, we can just spend both our fears here. And we get the compass. Seems fine. Uh, negate sturdy boots quite a bit. Get an item for free. Or two compass. Hmm. Binoculars seems like good value if we're getting it for free. Activate any campsite. Even two compasses. Really? Race for the galaxies? That's actually shocking. Because it's a much longer game. They do get the draw a card before us. Mm. We want to defeat the Guardian, but we also want to use the journal. And this is only moving with the book. I feel like journals just gonna have to sit in out. We could just use, use it for, to travel, I guess. Seeing as it's just sitting here anyway. I think it's too important to defeat this guy. Thinking of a line where we visit this for two tablets. Get a ruby from this, then we don't defeat this. I think we just... No, the issue is we don't have two coins. So we might just have to do this. Unless we just get coins from here. Yeah, that actually might just be sensible. I think it's just the play. Um, we should look to take sturdy boots, which we should have done first. Sturdy boots just lets us spam this spot, which is not a great spot. But also just the compass I like. Plus, the, plus we can use the we can use the double travel. It's fine. Yeah, defeating this guy important because we get an exile straight away, and we just don't get another fear.
they get a feel. Uh, seems kind of hard for them to defeat. Could buy stone jar for two, but I think we just wait. I'm so upset that they got aeroplane. Couldn't stop them. I guess I could have stopped them by getting. No, I think they had it in their hand anyway. Yeah, I don't, we don't buy stone jar here. We just save our compasses. They got they got a pretty decent assistant as well. Anyway, hoping this uh, this guardian head start will do us good. Okay, apparently they just straight up do have enough, which gets them an upgrade. They could go book up here for an exile. Or equally, no, book up here just makes more sense. Guiding Skull we're very interested in. How are they so far ahead already? They still have their idol. They're ahead in research. I don't get it. Is it just solely because of aeroplane? I feel like we do need a coin to go up here. We, we need to explore something else. Not an exile spot. A coin spot. Yeah, okay. Ruby is not amazing. Could explore another site. Can use binoculars to get whatever we want. Binoculars into an arrowhead might make sense. Uh, two tablets probably just makes more sense. Oh, it's a level two site. Oh. That's much better than what I thought. I think we don't mind taking a fear. Okay. Can move the glass up the middle here. In fact, we can go up one, two. I guess it's a card draw. In fact, okay, I guess a second assistant if we take this line. I think we just go for it. Do we need to buy anything? No. Now uh, they can beat us to the exile, which they do want. So annoying. Okay, defeating this, we still have a worker, so we can always get an arrowhead. Mm. We definitely want the assistant.
seems like we just visit the Arrowhead site, defeat this guy. Feels like we're still a long way behind. I don't know how to rectify that. We're short on Guiding Skull as well. They just have so much stuff, I don't get it. I really don't freaking get it. Now oh, buying stone jars have literally nothing to do. Just straight up behind like one, two, three journal levels plus resources equal on guardians. Just because of aeroplane, sundial. They have two gold assistants. Yes, because our useless journal couldn't get activated in the second round. Okay, we should visit one of these sites first. Hey, Reggie. I think we just straight up, yeah. Just use an assistant to travel. I feel like arrowheads what we kind of need. Oh yeah, still got to remember the ship. Okay, don't forget the ship. I feel like we want to use sturdy boots to go up here, but just how do we get enough compasses to do it? They're so hard to get. We use the ship next round or something. We're, we're like one compass short, but if we move our book up enough, we're close. We just can't. Book up gives us an exile. What are we doing with a fear? Could also just buy guiding skull, seems fine actually. Do one, two, by Guiding Skull, hope to get something that lets us advance further. Okay, they just visit here to get two compasses. We have to pay one, it actually costs five. Then we're wasting our sturdy boots. If 
gives it here for two compasses using sturdy boots. Visit this last round. Visit something last round. Can't just go here and get two compasses, it's just not enough to win. Alright, let's do a level one site then. We have enough coins. We can use the tablet. Uh, and I will remember the ship for last round. Okay, that's useful. Uh, it gives us something to exile here. We can research for free. Up the middle gives us the most flexibility. We can go book up, book up, gives us an item for free. Okay, and we can use this to discard a card. Uh, so yeah, I like book up first. Doesn't matter which one. Book up again to get Guiding Skull. <sighs> Don't need coins. Move from a site you occupy. Don't want to move this guy though, I just want to kill it. We can kill it very easily. Let's do this first and get a card draw. I think we want to draw straight away. Okay, great. Okay, Guiding Stone we like. It's not like the best value to get for free though. Still think it's, it's what we need. Arrowhead Tablet, that's actually pretty good. Passage Shell, not very good right now. Uh, we could use Traders Coins. That would let us upgrade either or. We'd be able to advance our hourglass up which gets a Scold Assistant this round, which is what we want. So to do that, we have to use Sturdy Boots just for the compass. And on there at the top. Definitely do not. <laughs> Feels like a bot. <laughs> Where is the... Uh... Go on a little timeout, buddy. I don't know, at this, at this point I'm just trying to beat 70, I don't think it's happening. It doesn't feel like a bad game, it just feels like they're on like a 90 game. 
I guess, round four and they're at the top. Their book's nearly at the top. They're just way ahead. Uh, two coins for two points is as good as we're going to get. Yeah, we're just in a buying. I'll even buy the tent. Can use it in the last round. Yeah, like I, I couldn't stop them from getting airplanes, so I have no idea what I was supposed to do. Oh, they still haven't even used their assistance. Dear God. We can do nothing else. nice if we had access to all five of our cards. They get first dibs on that open site. Activate a site you occupy. You can use binoculars at least. Now what we want is a lot of tablets to uh, to advance. We need three more tablets to go up one, two. Now let's not forget the ship. So we just visit here then, I guess. With double ship here. And we still have this leftover ship, which we will not forget about. We can use binoculars. Uh, we can use tent to activate this again, which seems like a great exchange. And probably have to settle for one of these, like this spot maybe. The XL does nothing though unless we move the glass up first, which we can do. Could also use binoculars to activate this spot actually. We do need all this stuff. I want to get here before they move the book up though. Then we can copy something else. We just need a little bit more compass, please. One. Can activate this. Can 
could draw plus arrowhead actually. We we need a tablet. We need a tablet the most. Tablet glass up. Yeah, tablet glass up book up refresh. I think that's the go. Let's just explore that, which we can do with the ship. We exile. We can play grappling hook for another exile, get rid of the coin. They have the casual 11 point tile. I mean, they must be well on track for 90 plus. Get compass from moving the book up here and then refresh assistant. It doesn't matter which one we do. Now we travel here. I guess we should grappling hook first. Uh, no, we might draw into something. I mean, mainly I'm hoping that we get something usable from here. Uh, oh, they're, they're past past. I was hoping we draw something usable because I don't see what other option I have. That is indeed a compass. So with an arrowhead that gets us to the top, which is plus, uh, plus six. This gets us. We don't actually even want to do that. It doesn't matter. Can't defeat that. Okay, this actually just gets us that tile. That's all we can do by that. <laughs> you don't need to spam the chat. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping for tablet reward from the top. Well, it's only 84. 64 is not a good score though. Well, nothing to lose. All right, let's see if we can find Bunny, Bunny and Ark. I guess the order doesn't matter, but 
Ox is going to find instantly. Bunny's on one, we'll wait a, wait a sec. Seems about right though that these were the two games that we lose. I I lose. All right. Oh, we found Bunny. Okay, let's go. Actually works out really well for timing. Okay. No really concentrated areas, but I love me a provision start, especially at the start of the game. I think we want that just plus like an early sky tower. Just give us maximum flexibility. Just pray that we get something good from provisions. Wasn't a great opening hand. No towels or anything. No, no luxury resources. Never take sky tower. I think it's super useful. I don't rate it in uh, two player games, but three and four, when you get like scattered territories, it seems very useful. Especially if these people try to start blocking me. Oh, parchments are good, no doubt. There was only like Matriarch there, which I'm not a huge fan of. Ooh, we got a nice central spot plus a nice uh, parchment. Good provisions. I love me a treasure hunter. Let's go treasure hunter plus two. Sort of opposite game plans, but... Treasure hunter I rate pretty, pretty damn highly, actually. I guess it's, all, it's also kind of scary leaving it for someone else, although anyone can copy this. Uh, just a lot of towers here, which is scary. One parchment. But I think we have a better start, especially because we are getting a tower right now. This must be an absolute nightmare to play on your phone. Don't really need to contest the middle area. Camp seems reasonable. This should always come back last, it's only one point. Yes it was, yes what was.
Oh, playing the game. Yeah, I can imagine. I think we just take something kind of close. I don't feel the need. Well, actually, a wooded area is more important. We can Sky Tower. This is Bunny Kingdom. Matriarch comes back, no surprise. Yeah, not interested in very much here. Another camp seems fine. Well, maybe this is interesting with, with two camps. Surely it's just better than all of these. It looks like yellow is just spamming out the territories. Seems like one, two, not a huge fan of corners. We should get our ring back for two points. Oh, we don't get the ring back. That's so rude. We don't need to play a camp here. That's kind of actually very curious. I actually do like playing a castle here. I think we can always connect it up to something. And for two points, this this could be this could be a close game. But I'll take two points right here. I'm not going to use anything else though. Definitely want a luxury resource. We don't have any carrots to put it on though. Hmm. I feel like one of these fish spots is important to grab right now. Cause I'm sort of looking at consolidating this area. Yeah, red ones down here as well. Okay, oh that's beautiful. See a crown here that's worth straight up 10 points too, which I'm tempted by. Okay, nice. We should be able to camp here. Don't think I remember seeing it. 12, if you have 10 fiefs. Also lots of carrot bonuses. Double carrot or different thieves and camp. Kind of like the thieves and camp because it goes with our matriarch as well. But we have a, we have a ton of camps. We should actually get the thing that gives us three points per camp, which is there. Uh, we have all three resources here. It's nice. So we don't need this. This is like a different thief plus it kind of blocks. I don't know what yellow is doing. Yellow is just all over the place. They're yeah, all over the place. Dude, you're like, you're an obvious troll, but you're not very good at trolling. It's at least one point. We don't need the carrots. I think we just take the wood. Ah, we do need the carrots, damn it. We can skip all camps because we can always place one later. But we want to save our one. We want to use our highest value. Yep, 
Yeah, I can't believe both the carrot things came back, actually. Like, with all these camps, we are just gonna slam them down on carrots. Yeah, well, I, yeah, we don't want to commit to them yet, but carrot spots we should highly prioritize. This does pay off this little castle here. Any time I'd just like to be able to place the camp, please. Okay, it did place. Luxury, and we'll put out. Oh my god. Put our one castle down as well. Lots of interesting things here. Carrot spots, two castle, uh, two fish is amazing for yellow. I think two castle over everything. Even this mountain spot's going to be important. Uh, even the different size three is actually really good. Carrot spot here too. Should be valuing carrots a lot higher. I think we can leave the gloves. I don't think anyone else should be interested in them. But let's just get these carrot spots. Also make sure we don't lose our camp spot. Don't think we mind if red gets those at all. One for each fief seems amazing with all our camps. We can abuse that at the end of the game. Just having another spot to put a tower seems important as well. We are so far behind on Matriarch though. Wow, okay, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. Gloves are worth a lot. Caratistador is worth a lot, plus the carrot spots are worth a lot. I'm actually just leaning towards both the carrots. Well, we only need five of them to get this, and otherwise they're worth two points each. But they are different fiefs. And this one does block red a little bit. I think we go for the carrots. Uh, might be a huge mistake passing that card to yellow, though. He would just take one of the gloves for sure. Just deny the pair. And someone has points for corners, so we'll take that. Uh, skip all camps. I think we just pretty much have to wait for the others to place all their things down and then we can look to place because this is just not. Okay, the, the, the Bunny Kingdom table just died. Looks like for everyone. Um, but yeah, it does look like our Sky Tower is pretty worthless right now. Uh, we could use it 
I think it's better to save it though. Put a two here at least and mm, don't really want to cover this mountain, but I think it's worth it. Just putting the two tower on the mountain. We save all our camps for last round. Uh, it's not the worst. We take two luxury. We just hope to find a spot to use them on. We still have a sky tower that we can connect to. We just take both the luxury though. Yeah, now regrets not leaving both these open, but what can you do? So I have a decent point lead. No one's sort of got a massive empire going. Now, uh, this is an important spot for us to take. I like copying a lot. Yeah, just have to secure this so we don't get this split up too important. That is a carrot spot. Carrot spot next to us, one tower. We still actually need quite a few towers to hit. Oh, this is just one point per. Ah, oh, this, this doesn't do anything. I can definitely camp a lot of things, but... Like, the issue is sky towering. Just take that and that. The issue is just no place to put these luxury resources. Just no nothing connected up. We have two treasures, so this is like six points, possibly copy something. This is just a different thief, uh, fish doesn't matter. Fish is one point, different thief is one. I don't know, our multiplier is not great. Our, our goals are okay. We have another Sky Tower. So it's actually straight up better for us to not use them. Because we want different thieves. So yeah, uh, this carrot spot we should take. I don't know, what else gets us points? This carrot spot actually loses us points. We could we could copy wood spots actually. That's we don't know what we're copying. But I think we just do different thieves in wood spots. I don't really see what else we can do that's gonna help.
and sky towering just nets us negative points in all situations. We should play our resources anyway, just in case we get to copy the red. We have more parchments than both. I don't know, it's going to be close. I don't think anyone's blowing this game apart. These are not great though. Yeah. It would have been useful if we could get, like, imagine having B5 as well, then we just sky tower the pearls in and it's, and it's great value. But we just couldn't find two things connected. It's like a safety net, but no one wanted it at the end. So it's kind of pointless. I mean, we're going to finish, maybe yellow finishes with like a higher score and then it's just up to the parchments. I don't know, we got, we have different thieves. Excuse me? Was your opponent on Silver Lake? Because did you know Silver Lake has that ability of determination? I know, I know a lot of people get confused by it. Maybe red's actually going to be... Oh, are they up to 60? Oh. Okay, red might be scariest then. All right, ho hopefully we copy something good. Yeah, Matriarch, we got wrecked. We get some decent points. Like 25 in Thiefs, 15 for the Carrots. Two for each city. That's useless. Oh wow, 85. Yeah, okay, that that's that's a good use of Sky Tell. Well, not sure that we're beating red. Not sure that we're beating yellow either. One of them has opportunities for second place. I assume yellow has the both the fishing ones, which is a lot of points. One of these is a one point ring, let's remember. Yellow gets to copy. Yellow, we assume, has little prints as well for like 11 points. And a one point glove, yes, indeed. But we also have that. We have a two point glove. We have a zero point matriarch. Master Carpenter 18 seems clearly the best. Okay. They must have had really bad goals. Oh yeah, I was I was scared that uh, yellow had carrots at all, but they didn't. Yeah, okay, we killed our goals. We'll take that. Second place did have opportunist as well. Huh. 
And yellow did have all the fishing stuff, just they didn't have anything else really. Alright. Now let's finish off the day with an arc win. And no lag. Oh damn, climbing up to gold. Been mostly a good day. Win here would be pretty big. Goal for the end of season is just top 10. Oh, okay, it's Brian. At least he's playing with a higher racing account. Our first player, and I do like Observation Tower. Not sure about our cards though. Adventure Playground's an easy keep. This looks like an easy Africa too, but would really prefer... <laughs> Got a copy-paste ready for us. Hmm. Out of all these, I think Eagle and Release have the best upside. What's our endgame? Not happy with either of these. I don't like architecture on this. Uh, yeah, seems like simple enough Africa 2 to start. But it means we sort of go for like Asia, uh, Australia 5. Yeah, we'll go with this. We can do Adventure Playground first. I like Adventure Playground or Water Playground on this map. So you can just start over the rep and then build your two touching the tower. It's often very awkward to like get this rep. But yeah, fine building a size two for the fox. He does have first snapping. This is a bit scary. BB. Indeed, BB. Mm, could also time him out. Export in Africa is really quite annoying to see. It's actually insanely annoying to see, but what can we do about it? Pretty sure he's going to snap it up. Maybe we just snap up the Rhino then. Maybe he just lets us have Expert on Africa. Mm, it's going to be annoying if he has an African animal in hand and plays this and then does support to like round one. So I think we need a sort of... Oh, if he steals Africa from us, it's, it's annoying. We could also... Why am I just not considering round one monkey release? That's actually just way better. It's actually just way better. We just draw it from range here. Play it, release it. Then, then it gives us a chance to go for five Africa. Still expecting it to be snapped off, which is fine. Hmm, not sure where we want cards. Don't really need to boost them down, rather have it to snap something up. You guys just read this salt already. I'm 
I'm happy with negative two. Negative two after a couple of turns seems all right to me. The thing is, we don't mind so much if we release because we have four extra appeal from Adventure Playground plus two from the Observation Tower. So release isn't that detrimental to our income. Okay, yeah, Africa makes sense. Just like a quick two support. Uh, if he pl if he plays it, it's going to be a longer round. If I take a worker, he's going to make it a shorter round. But I think we want a short round, and I don't know if we want to snap. I still just like really like income. I think you can't go wrong with income. We could see a SOS upgrade, honestly. It makes a lot of sense for this partner zoo. Like, I'm about to snap anyway and hit my hand limit. I'll just take income. Whatever. He can hate on me if he wants. Just get a SOS upgrade, cause the break. I'm I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear it's not up to your liking, this terraforming Mars. Mm, could snap up Rhino. Doesn't seem bad. Could also ah uh, we don't want to draw. We like the eagle. Could snap up the manga bay. If we get Africa partners, who, mm, it's kind of hard to play, but it fits really nicely here. Means we wouldn't have to upgrade build. Plays expert. Go back. Um, uh, yeah, I like manga base snap. Manga Bay snap, break, double partner zoo. Let's see what he's got. All right. Thorny Devil. Be nice if we could grab Africa and Asia both at once. Asia looks nice for a like hornbill snap. The good thing is we're gonna have cards right uh, after animals. Maybe Hornbill Snap. Maybe just drawing from deck. Oh, that makes sense. So he's almost certainly going to support Africa at two. We just grab Africa plus Asia. Into upgrade animals, I think we're kind of close to the next upgrade. We don't need to upgrade build because we're building a size 4. Snapping. Snapping, snapping. Sea lion? Have to assume it's sea lion. Oh, primatologist to cash in right before we play our animal.
Barn Owl. I know he likes the Barn Owl. Raccoon. Okay. Ah, Raccoon to release. Yeah, okay. Fair. Manga Bay, draw from deck, break. Exponent Smalls, nice. Okay, we get to call, he's going to build, but we get to call the break before he plays animals. It's really good. Yeah, we have good prospects for 5 Africa long term. We have an eagle in hand. We're not playing the fox in there. So another project now would be amazing, but any one good card. Mm. Ah, now it's tough. Could be eagle. <laughs> the fox needs room and not that much room. Can't do that. Ah, this is tough. I think... Monkey is really good for Asia too. <sighs> really good draw. I don't know. I think... Monkey just gives us that in-between project. I think Eagle goes here. Monkey even happy to fit in the size 2 and we can do like 2 Asia straight away for times 2 on something. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think it's the choice. Yeah, what do we want times 2 on? And do we need to do this straight away? Well, I assume he's going to take Asia partner zoo here. What did he snap? The sea lion. Okay, he's going for Australia 5. So he might take just Australia partner zoo. Let's we'll see what he plays. I think we just keep the brakes rolling though. Yeah, I don't mind uh, Asia 2 into extra work though, but times 2 on sponsors doesn't really go with that. Uh, he's thinking. Okay, that's going to be nice for his reptile house, which we assume he's going to build. Well, Python makes my decision a bit easier, I think. So we could just go a uh, third partner zoo. Could take Australia partner zoo from him right now. Would be annoying, actually. Mm, or we just spend an X just to get. I like I like making him break though, because we can just get the partner zoo. Just get the partner zoo and then just stay in the round longer. Like, because we play the primate, we can X out, or we can clever down build, I guess. I oh, kind of need build. I can just build a size 1 for the fox. It's not bad. It's a bit of a waste, but... Yeah, I think actually getting second worker from this way is pretty useful. They can, it was a very nice constriction, though. Like, super annoying. Stopped us getting 2 rep. Stopped us uh, supporting a project. Build, build one. 
must be for an Asia animal, no? We still beat him to Asia right now though if we want. We spend an uh, we spend an X and just upgrade build before we use them. And we still beat him to Unless his Asia animal's giving him an X token, we just beat him to our uh, to Asia two. Probably throw down sponsors. Because we still need to draw. Although it looks like we are going to take snapping. Still think we want to draw. Oh, okay, it's just release. All right, it's, it's for raccoon release. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We still get our project done. So we don't need to build for the rhino yet, but let's do a. Uh, we don't really need the money yet, so let's just build a nice kiosk. Size one for the fox. Points are kind of even, which income's kind of even, but we're ahead in money and upgrades, and we have another worker. And he's used up all of his tower, but he's going to get a lot of tower back with a reptile house. It does take worker. Fair. We'll just draw from the deck. So laggy. Yeah, for me too. Uh, annoyingly, we're going to have to spend an X. Just because with those X tokens, he can cause the break. We don't really want to snap anything. Yeah, we, we definitely have a solid game plan. I oh, know Snowy Owl is like the best just overall value. But we could also just get Seabirds to play it. It's pretty awful though. We've already just done a build action. Just take the owl. Not amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. Do we want to donate to get times two right now? Feel like just threaten the break a bit earlier. Okay, not interested in those. Like, cards break. He only has one card. We have no hand size, though. What up, ADHD? Not interested in breaking. What is draw? We don't want the snowy owl, so we have one spot to keep things. Well. Well, well, well. Yeah, get out of here, owl. 
I mean, I think we're just keeping Fox Rhino Eagle. You get your second partner zoo now. I think we're just happy enough causing the break. Especially before he does cards. Cards is a good action for him. Playing the Fox lets us keep like the Stoat, but I don't think that's too interesting. Just keep the actions rolling over. Yeah, just can't stop getting the eagles. First snap here should be pretty important. Like another Africa symbol would be huge. Mm, still really don't like the end goals. Okay, diverse with primate seems fairly safe. Just take away Australia. Plus it's just decent anyway. Oh, believe me, I'm looking out for scavenging. Uh, Waza Small's really good for him. Waza Small's insanely good. Yeah, because we have expensive animals, I think we just break, 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 break. Not sure how to... Uh, hmm. Yeah, also, what the hell project are we doing? That's not sure either. We don't have... The issue is we don't have Five Africa. We don't have a clear project. I guess uh, Habitat Diversity is the project, actually. Now it's pretty clear. If we have Americas here, we can get Europe Partner Zoo. Mm. Just really don't want him to take away the uh, uni that we want. But I feel like I don't need to waste X tokens so much. But it's, it's like it, it is a big deal if we lose this uni. Definitely not donating. Yeah, something like build size four, play play. Uh, could get both units this round as well. Yeah, reptile house we expected. Wondering why up here and not over here. That's going to give him so much value. Like, all of them going. Tower is back online. But still kind of broke. Uh, he could cause the break right now. Don't think he wants to, though. We we'll save this spot for Aviary. Okay, maybe we just get partner zoo to rep. Mm, should be looking to cause the break. Yeah, fox. Just waiting for the typing in chat. Yeah, it has to be habitats here. We just... We are close to species as well, but we can guarantee habitats. Clever down cards. Use an X for Europe plus two rep. 
doesn't make any sense. Because we can't get two rep. Uh, this is Waza Small. It's not Waza. He can't play Waza Small because he has two reputation. So he's building over this reputation to play Waza Small. All right, we'll just grab Europe here then. All right, he's getting two rep that way. All right. So now while the small's coming out, uh, we can also build again before breaking. Don't know how long we want to stay in this round for though. That's what I was thinking, Lizard House over the rep. Mm, don't know, we really need our fifth Africa. It's, it's uh, quite annoying right now. I guess we're just keeping diverse. Like, diverse, we should always win primates, I think. Game, please. Architectural, I don't think we're filling up our map. Like, we're already at 40 points. We don't need to donate. So, something like break five, build aviary. It's going to freak him out. Penguin pool. He needs rep for that as well. I uh, still got great hornbill coming. Must be animals upgrade. How are these end games looking? Thankfully, about the same as ours, which is not much. Might be worth spending an X token as well just to build a size one. We could, okay, just the break. All right, that, that works for me, that works. It gives him first snap, but that's fine. Yeah, that seems like a desperation cards action. He already had four cards. We know one of them's Waza small. And we know that he's not going to get an eagle. So Sunbear is the best he can hope for here. Uh, there's no other rhino either. Just Africa, hugely important. I actually think money is tight enough. We just build the aviary and get like size two reward. Uh, not, yeah, I don't care about either of those. Maybe we care about the bear, but we can't play it. Badger. Hmm. I don't care about anything here. Boosting animals could be useful. Freak him out. Dude, he is mad. We just do eagle into habitats, I think, for size twos, cause break. Uh, it's kind of weird to do cards down, but I, I think it's just eagle into habitats five. 
we really uh, maybe we just go other uni I'm not sure feels too early to use all this but the size 2 is going to be very important but yeah we're sort of relying on getting a project or just use it Size 2, we can start getting X tokens here as well. That's actually... I got 2. Yeah, I got 2 eagles. What of it? Can donate as well, yeah, sure. We're just gonna cause the break. I wonder what he's got up his sleeve. Maybe hypnosis. Probably double science uni. So we can play the red panda. Might mean that he's got big hypnosis boy. Oh yeah, we definitely just wanna. I still I know it's a 50 point lead, it's like whatever, but I still don't feel comfortable. See, honestly feels like it should be break 7. Because he wants to play Panda and get out some big boys. Could have a Hippo, but doesn't seem likely. Not sure what the size 4 is for. But also like throwing away all these X tokens. Hmm. Fuck it, we just we want the break. See what he does, we just do cards. Now it lets us build before. Okay, Waza, yes, fine. I assume he has other sponsors he wants to get out. Just random size 5 must be the answer. Size 4 and size 5. Could Grizzly Bear. Could pick up the Grizzly Bear. Actually, it's not bad at all. I mean, the question is, how are we finishing the game? I think this does enough. Especially the bear. Oh, the bear icon doesn't matter. Yeah, we have chances to hit other things. This, this is no doubt going to be hypnosis right here. Gonna be very annoying if so. Yeah, knew it. Hundred percent. Hypnosis, red panda into Asia four. Yeah, I knew that was coming. That's why we didn't want to let him. Jugong would be nice. Actually, yet. Yeah. Jugong would be perfect. Ah, it's a nice kookaburra. Asia 4 into play sponsor for money, probably. So we assume he doesn't have Great Hornbill anymore. Not sure what's left in here. I 
I mean, just any any Africa, any Africa or Dugong would be fine. I'll take it. Gets to steal our donation as well. Ah, uh, it's actually going to be nice for getting X tokens, but or not donating. Okay. Okay, and we know it's Kookaburra. Fine, Kookaburra. Okay, no sponsor in hand. Believe me, Bob, you missed absolutely nothing. Mm, really can't let him have that, but we can snap it up. Just rather draw three and see if we get something better. But yeah, we take Komodo for sure. Bamboo Forest will probably do it as a project. Not Africa. Uh, now, can we let him get Komodo? Side entrance goes. Badger goes because it's just always worse than Tazzy Devil. Cover the X token. Probably takes Africa release. All right, we should calculate. So bear plus Tazzy devil plus Pouching, oh, we don't even pouch this. You have another project, do you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you just did habitats before. Hmm. Can we end it fast enough? We need to play Tazzy Devil. Release is not March. Release plus donation. It's only plus six, plus nine. We don't have enough to end right now. But this is plus 10 if we play it. We've got to take 12 money. So we're not pouching. We end in two turns. He can't. Can't support another project just yet. So we take 12 money, donate, play Komodo, and two turns. Diverse, we have two, uh, yeah, two primate. He's basically going to get, yeah, nice animals action off. Needs to get a rep somehow. Oh, this actually hurts. Okay, that changes things. So, can we do two projects? 
Or we just don't donate. That's only plus six. Okay, not donating is still enough. Not donating plus 12 money. It's gonna play animals again. Uh, it's gonna get us. It's gonna get him close. Our project sucks. Let's not spend an unnecessary X. His end game can't be that good though. Maybe it's naturalist. Then it's two. What? Wait, oh wait, we can donate. That could be an important donation. As long as we don't get pilfered or anything, any funny business. Yeah, cards for a miracle, I guess. Still got 35 money and a size 4. Hmm. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got one card in hand. Hmm. At least we got a 12 point Komodo coming in. Too diverse. Just make sure that we're not just getting timed out. So Sun Bear doesn't even save him because it doesn't give a rep. It have to be Sun Bear plus no, it, it it can't. But like double animals action could get him close enough because I guess both our end games really suck. I we should have it. Would have been 29 turns. Didn't feel like the best game, but... Oh yeah, small... Actually, if his, if his endgame was small animal, we obviously hit nothing with the card section. Well, that's a good way to end stream. So, really nice day apart from 1, 2. It's pretty traumatic again, to be honest, but... Yep, we'll uh, call it a day there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good rest of the day and see you next week. <laughs> so mad. I don't ask to be sniped, Yadi. That's on you. See you, everyone.